It's tough to find loving homes for pets that have disabilities. And it's not something we think about often, but one woman in New Haven is working to change that. News 8's Sarah Welch has the story. Anthony has um, just got diagnosed with kidney failure. It's a labor of love for Lisa Rupolo, caring for cats who suffer from some of the saddest conditions. Jeremy, you can't really see, but he's got deformed feet. He was, um, his, his pads fused together from frostbite. Out of her New Haven home, Rupolo runs the Hope Alliance. This is Chrissy. Chrissy's an abuse survivor. The nonprofit organization takes in cats with physical and mental challenges that make them the least desirable for adoption. What we want to try and do is make sure that people know that just because cats have special needs, they don't need to be euthanized. Every year around the holidays, the Hope Alliance takes in another special needs cat. This year, it was Lucy that found a new home here. They're amazing. They, they just give you inspiration. They don't let their problems or their disabilities get them down. Or Chrissy, would you like one? Since 1992, the group has helped more than 200 cats. Lisa gets requests for help every day, but only allows a maximum of 20 cats in her home at any given time. Call and we put them on a waiting list, and then as we have a space... We would give them a call back. In the meantime, we try and advise them. Grant money and donations help pay for food, treatments, and daily medications, but Lisa could always use more volunteers. If someone can come and donate two hours a month, that's really wonderful. That's what we like to sort of start with for people. She says the payback is priceless, knowing these cats are getting a second chance. It's just wonderful what, what can happen. In New Haven, Sarah Welch, News 8.